Okay, so we've now completed four Beatle songs. We started with Please Please Me, then Meet the Beatles, then Hard Day is Nine, we just listened to Beatles for Sale. Um, well, what, what I can say about this album is, it's a very good album, it, but it, I'm also, at this point, ready for them to to move away a little bit from the love songs and stuff, you know? What I've learned from the Beatles so far is, number one, she gives you everything. Number two, that you would like to hold her. And number three, that, um, that if she talks to another guy, you're going to domestic violence her. <laughs> so, basically, that's, that's what all the lyrics so far have been about. Um, and you can hear you can hear increasing darkness in the lyrics though, which is a relief because by the end of the fourth Beatles album, you're like, okay, let's let's be a little bit more compositionally consistent because it's not like they're bad compositions. A lot of them are fantastic, but they're not that consistent yet. No. Do you have any other thoughts about that album? Um. I think I think the Beatles themselves were even tired of writing about love songs in a way that's lovey-dovey, and I think that's why they were so like progressive for their time because still okay so like 1965 I mean still still there was um, a lot of lovey-dovey songs like that was still clean cut kind of stuff like right, well, they were trying to make the radio make the radio yeah yeah, yeah. so and, and please, that's what people wanted to hear on the radio yep. so yeah but the Beatles were like we're getting bored of this let's, let's change it up yeah and I asked Rachel well when did they exactly blow up she said when I want to hold your hand came out but that hasn't been on any of these first four albums so nope. she, she says she thinks it's a single anyway um, we're on to the next Beatles album and I'm pretty impressive we've gotten through four of them already.